All right, I'm going to be working on the cowboy. I took him back off the saddle. I decided I'm going to work on uh, his legs and stuff before I put him back on the saddle and on the body because it's going to be a lot easier to work it on it here than on that horse. So that's what I'm going to do. Time to play with some play. Okay, I'm just establishing his belt. Actually, the pants would be a lot higher. They wore pants higher back then. I was going to do his head today, but I'm going to go ahead and do his body before I do the head. And uh, I don't usually do that first. I'm just doing something a little different. I usually let the face and the head determine the uh, figure, but I'm going to forego that this time. All right, I'm putting a vest on him. Now, most of the vest is going to be covered by the coat. So I'm not going to go into great detail on the vest, but I am going to go into greater detail on the uh, left side of the uh, vest because it'll be open because the uh, jacket will be out here in the... Uh, wind now, I don't know how much of the uh, open part of the vest is going to show so I'm just going to go ahead and create it be safe I'm thinking right now, this is a good thing I took him off the saddle. This would be hard to work on. This is the bottom of the vest.
What gave me the idea for this was a movie that I was watching this weekend, True Grit, with Jeff Bridges as uh, Rooster Cogburn. And uh, one of the bad guys was dressed this way, and I thought that makes an interesting clothing. So that's why I'm doing it. I got to meet Jeff Bridges once. I did a uh, sculpture that they use as an award for a film festival here in Montana back in the early 2000s. And uh, he was presenting it to uh, Peter Fonda. And I got to sit down and talk to him a little bit about the sculpture, which was a sculpture I did of Gary Cooper. I'll put a picture up of that uh, sculpture here. I did that sculpture in a motel room under the lamp in the motel room over a couple of days. It was kind of an odd place to do a sculpture down in Gallup, New Mexico. I was doing a show at the the Indian Cultural Center there in Gallup with a bunch of my Native American artist friends. And I got a call saying they needed an award sculpted and they asked me if I could do it. And I said, yeah, I think think I can. Had to go and borrow clay from somebody. Anyway, it was an interesting experience. But getting to sit down with Jeff Bridges was really the highlight. And getting to meet Peter Fonda and his wife. His wife, she was a tiny little lady, but boy, what a pistol. Nice, just a lovely lady. And she took a liking to me. I don't know why, but anyway. In fact, I got a picture of me shaking hands with Peter Fonda. What I'm doing is I'm laying out his coat before I put it on him. Again, this is based on that uh, jacket or coat that he was wearing in the movie.
just wanted to check it out on the horse and see how it looks. They wore sh their jackets short so that if they wore a gun that uh, it would be just above the uh, handle of the gun. Of course, I did wear them longer too, but for this one, I'm doing a different design. Okay, I gotta finish the back of the jacket and all that stuff. I'll pick this up tomorrow. I think this is gonna look pretty good. I like the idea of the uh, jacket because it gives it uh, more action in the uh, figure of the cowboy. All right, I'll pick this up tomorrow and uh, we'll see if we can uh, get this to a point where I can move on to the uh, rest of the horse. All right, good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.